Bobby. Bobby, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Okay. Good. Good. Listen, I uh, remember the last time you guys did some dealings with Cleveland. Carlos Baier. Roberto Bayer. Alomar, of course. Yeah. Of course. Are you saying that's the same? Is that what you're telling me? It's not, well, it's not, I hope that's all south for the Mets. Oh, yeah, thank you. Mets that's very nice of you. Listen, all you got to do <laughs> is just, today's a day, you don't even have to break it down today. Today is <laughs> very simple. It's surface crap. Like, you don't have to know a lot of baseball. You don't have to know uh, what a guy's war is and his whip or anything else. All you need to know today is that by any metric that you want to de determine a guy's ability as a baseball player, the New York Mets got one of the best baseball players in the game today. Period. Stop. Yeah, but he is predicting that this will turn out like Bayerga turned out and like Alomar turned out. Now, Alomar... It's got nothing to do with it. Alomar is irrelevant because he was in his 30s and you knew you were acquiring a guy past irrelevant. his prime. Well, no, Bayerga... Is because it's the same franchise? No, no. Carlos Bayerga was 15 years older than his no. birth certificate said. Oh, well, that's different. Come okay, on. Fine. Well, then we're comparing <laughs> Francisco Lindor to a 20-year-old trade? Stop. <laughs> this is not that complicated. <laughs> Enjoy it. Well, see, this is the goddamn problem with you people. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you throwing You can't stuff just at me? enjoy something for what it is. Craig, that was a Yankee fan. So I don't give a rat's ass who it was. Stop comparing things and contrasting and explaining <laughs> yes, no answers. <laughs> just say, be happy. Why are you so incapable because of that just gentleman, being happy? Because that gentleman doesn't want me and other people to be happy. You, he that gentleman, it. everyone else can go F themselves. Wow. Just be happy. Go eat a dozen wings, drink some Jägermeister, and enjoy a random Thursday night. God almighty. <laughs> Stop. It's okay to be happy. It's okay to enjoy this for what it is. If you're a diehard Met fan, don't don't talk about what's next. Don't compare it to this or that. Enjoy the fact that your owner, your president of baseball operations, your general manager pulled off a baseball coup. They got one of the best all-around players in the game to come play for you. Period. Stop. You don't have to say another goddamn word about what the New York Mets did today. We don't need comparisons. We don't need to go back in the anals. We don't need to have historical reference. Just shut up. Enjoy it. And if it pisses off Yankee fans, too bad, Yankee fans. We don't need to hear from you either. Today, for the New York sports fan, it's a good day. Why can't we ever just enjoy a good effing day? There's always got to be some jackhammer on Twitter, some calling into the radio, <laughs> trying to ruin a good day. Yesterday was a bad day. <laughs> today was a good day. So enjoy today and cut out the crap. My God, when's the last time the New York Mets franchise had a day this good? Well, we talked about it. Pick your poison. Is it 1986? Is it uh, the, the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> Is it 69? 2015? Jesus Christ. I mean, in fairness, I think Jeff it's going to be just like when they made a turn. No, no, I mean, no, Jeff no, no, Kent no. did turn into a Hall of Fame caliber second baseman, and Jose Vizcaino got the game winning hit of the World God. Series in 2000. That Bayerga trade, Craig, was a disaster. It doesn't matter. It was it's got nothing at years all ago. to do with what the New York <laughs> Mets did today. <laughs> it never does, but you people can't help yourselves because it's ingrained in your Stupid. brain. Rain in stupid. your mind. And you know that. And you're the captain of stupid. Now, I'm not you look, lead the stupid Craig, army. I love the Lindor trade, uh, but I can't ignore the pain I still feel from July of 1996. Got nothing to do with it. When they traded for the washed up 26 year old, because that's how young he was. Got nothing to do well, with it. He was listed as 26. It's a new day, a new era, a new I know, owner. I know. So just enjoy it. I am this. enjoying hey, it. Five hours ago, yes. you were moonwalking outside I my still office. still am. Now you're Captain condescending. No, I'm not. I'm acknowledging that, yes, the Bayerga trade was a disaster. But it's got nothing to do I with this. Well, look, I... Zero. I, do, do I want to make the Lindor trade? Yes. Okay. I'm ecstatic. That's why I said to you a half hour ago, we don't always need extra. Enjoy this. This is your this fault. This is nothing at all this to do with Carlos Bayerga 
or anybody else. No, no, no. This is on you because you instigated our last caller. He was an angry Yankee fan, and he didn't want me smiling. He didn't want Lou Gower smiling. God. So he said, oh, I got an idea. Let me hit him where it hurts. Let me bring up Robbie Alomar and Carlos Baerga and say Lindor's going to work out the exact same way. So thanks, Craig. Thanks for doing that. I'm enjoying Appreciate it. it. And none of you morons or a-holes are going to talk me off that ledge. If you're a Mets fan, tell everyone else to go F themselves. Enjoy it in the moment because tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow might suck. But today doesn't suck. It doesn't. Today is just a good day. Hell, the Yankees even made a trade. <laughs> they got somebody from San Diego I've never heard of. Greg Allen. But he's fast. <laughs> what do you want? This is a text I got. I won't say his name from my friend who's a Yankee fan. What's his name? Oh, well, actually, you know what? You're right. Mike Carver. Bang! For Scotty Ferrell. Okay. Used to work here. Yeah, we know All right, Carver. go we ahead, Mike Carver. Chat. What do you got? He goes, I remember the Mets spitting, that means, you know, whatever, Lindor in two postseason series against the Yankees where he couldn't hit his weight. So, of course, they tie it back, and this is my That's point. That's stupid because On a they, day that celebration for the Mets, they make it about that. It's a celebration of fan. New York sports, specifically for the Mets. You got one of the great players in the game. That's why I'm avoiding Twitter. I can't even stop. Stop! Yuck! You know why that's it's such disgusting. a stupid. Oh, hold on a second. You know why that's such a stupid text by Mike Carver, and I wish he was smarter Who than that. that. Here's what you're doing. We don't care. No, no, I want to answer that. Because it's stupid no, 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 on no, merit. No, no, Craig, you know why it needs to be answered? Because it puts out information that's not correct. Like, no if you're one knows listening, who Mike Carver is. No, no, but they He's an took anonymous it. jackass on Twitter. No one Craig, cares who Mike Carver they is. They took that as Francisco Lindor isn't a clutch player because he spit the bit against the Yankees. How'd he do in the World Series? How'd he do in the ALCS in 2016? How'd he do against the Astros in the ALDS in 2018? I won't tell you. Look it up. Spoiler alert. He did well. So I think that's important to be out there. You want misinformation out there, Craig? No, no, no. There's no misinformation yeah, out there. Yeah, he just said because he's nobody. Yeah, but he's, he's not said, giving anybody information. It's like some on Twitter yes. that said reaches out to you with misinformation. Nobody saw that's it. That's not true. Not no, when it gets the, retweets. No, wrong. Memo to you on Twitter, by the way. Oh. Go ahead and dump the word a hole. That's fine. I said it, and I don't care that I said. No, I don't care if you dump it. <laughs> Nobody's reading your tweets. So tweet away, you morons. You're not going to rob the fun of the New York Mets getting Francisco Lador today. Not today. Not today. And for you who think everybody's reading what you write on Twitter, newsflash, nobody's reading it. You have zero platform with zero audience and zero eyeballs and ears. So tweet your hatred away, you sons of bitches. You're not going to ruin one of the great days in New York sports history when the New York Mets get Francisco Lindor. And I don't need someone to explain Mike Carver's tweet to me because I don't know who Mike Carver is and I don't give a rat's ass what he thinks. You know what's funny? I was going to put Carver on my Saturday show because he's a Great. big Bill fan. Now Good. I'm not. No, Tom, I'm not anymore. I don't want him. And I don't you want to talk say to, him. to Mike Carver this. I got to be the man. You're the man. <laughs> Philadelphia. Right. <laughs> God almighty, you people. These days are few and far between. And what happens? What happens? This happens. <laughs> Some guy hates me in Spanish. Good. He cursed you out in Spanish? Some guy's mad because I said <laughs> off because his kids are listening. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. It's okay for your kids to hear the word <laughs> for right? Jeez. They're New Yorkers. <laughs> oh, my God. Little Junior heard the word <laughs> Please. Holy stromboli. What else? <laughs> you tell me. What oh. else? <laughs> it's unbelievable. You guys can't help yourself. No, it's you. You can't help yourself. Because I don't need anyone to explain to me or tell or, 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 or I just don't need it. Why can't a great moment just live as a great moment? It's a great moment. Who's saying it's not a you, great moment? It's I'm your fault, it's Captain I'm, Condescending. I'm damn excited. I no, moonwalked earlier Because today. you always have the need to add a little background, a little factoid. Yes. We know what you know. Facts you know a lot. matter. Not to a random guy I don't give a damn about. Well, that's, that's I don't need his crap explained to and me you know what else? or anyone else's. And you know what else? Even on the most optimistic day, even on the most optimistic sports day, it is not you. You are not a true fan of that team if you don't, in the back of your mind, think of things that have gone wrong in the past or could go wrong in the future. It's who we are. It's who all of us are. 